Five simple but powerful words. And if you ingrain them into your relationships, you'll attract more men and you will be far more powerful in any relationship than you've ever been in the past. And no, this isn't clickbait. Keep watching. Now, statistically speaking, men are actually more likely to fall in love before a woman. But if you do find yourself wanting a man to fall for you, then don't forget these five words. They're gonna help you unlock a man's heart and make him want you. And I boiled them down to one single word, so they're really easy to remember and they're really easy to implement into your life. Number one, you. Now, I believe that the definition of a great relationship is when both people put in, they focus their energy on the other person. And I found throughout my life, and also being a dating coach, that there are basically two different relationship archetypes. The first one are those types of people who get in a relationship in order to get something, whether it's get a feeling, they want to feel love from that person, they want to get that, or they want to get someone to show off to their friends, or finally just have someone get someone who can entertain them. And then the second archetype, archetype are those who want a relationship in order to give something, in order to give their love, in order to give their devotion, in order to give their emotion and their time into the relationship. And if he's giving in the relationship, he's giving his time, his energy, his resources, putting everything he can into the relationship, and you're doing the same, you're being thoughtful, you're doing everything you can to make his life better, then ultimately the whole becomes so much greater than the sum of two parts. And that really is the definition of a healthy relationship, is when both people focus their energy on the other person and ultimately both are so much better off for being in that relationship. But keep in mind, if you find yourself in a relationship who's not focusing their energy on you back, then you need to realize this, it's not going to get better. If you're finding you're the only person investing yourself into a relationship, it's time to really take a hard look as to whether or not this is what you want. So leave a comment below if you've ever been in a relationship where you're the only one giving. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. The second word that's gonna make a man completely want you and fall in love with you is yes. Now, according to a fascinating study that was conducted by the University of Westminster, they found that basically a woman's physical appearance is less of a deciding factor for attracting the opposite sex so long as the woman is positive. On the other hand, if she's a very negative person and she's unattractive, then it becomes substantially more difficult to attract a mate. So essentially, the deciding factor to be able to attract a great person is not all coming down to looks. What's more important is being with someone who's positive, who's a positive influence in your life. And I can tell you, back when I was single, there were so many women who might be physically attractive, but I just got this incredibly negative vibe from them, whether it's their body language or I could tell they just weren't happy. And the moment that I got that feeling, I immediately wanted to just kind of back away and kind of look somewhere else. Word number three is I. Now you've been told a lie from fairy tales and movies growing up. When you finally meet a great person, a great partner, or the one in your life, it doesn't mean that you're f you finally found your better half. It really just means that you found someone to supplement your already incredible life. And I think a lot of relationship advice out there really caters to the type of people who want to get lost in a relationship, who are willing to lose their sense of self, who are willing to lose their sense of I. And as part of Sexy Confidence, I'm such a strong advocate in really not forgetting who you are and continuing to build up who you are as a person and being willing to stay independent of that person. It doesn't mean that of course you don't want to spend a ton of time with that person and share yourself wholly to your partner but at the same time you really don't want to lose every part of who you are and just give in to that person word number four is thanks a recent study by psychologists at the University of North Carolina basically found that on days when partners reported feeling more grateful for their significant others acts of kindness or things that they did they also reported feeling much more connected to that person and I can speak to this personally I found that if Jessica and I ever get in a fight or disagreement, we make sure that not shortly thereafter, we I know it's cheesy, but we will kind of actually sit, especially before dinner, every once in a while we'll do this and just say, what are three things that you're grateful for? And always, and both of us are at least saying one nice thing about the other person, one thing that we're grateful for in our partner, but just gratitude in general in life has a way of just kind of washing away all the bullshit 
all the things that you think you care about, and then it really kind of boils down to the most important things in your life. And there's a lot of psychology that goes into this where the moment that you start focusing on the things that are important and the things that really matter to you are the moment that you stop stressing about the things that don't. And the fifth word is no. No is actually one of the strongest words in the dictionary. And I found with a lot of women, when they start to fall for a man or they're really interested in a man, they want to say yes to everything, right? They don't want to, you know, kind of ruffle the feathers or make him feel like, you know, he's saying something that you disagree with. So you always say yes, yes, and show interest. But actually, the type of women who really attract men and kind of pique their interest are the type of women who are willing to say no, who are willing to call a guy on his bullshit. So don't be afraid to do that, okay? Don't be afraid to say no to a man, even if you're attracted to him. Believe it or not, it's an incredible attractive quality, the type of woman who's willing to step up to the plate. And I'm gonna throw in a bonus that you can do that is going to make a man absolutely addicted to you. Here's the word. Listening. Listening is such an important part of falling in love because as we fall in love and as we really connect with someone on a more deep emotional level, we have a need to be heard and you have a need to be heard as well. So you want, just like you want to be with a man who listens to you and is willing to kind of take a step back and stop doing all the talking, men also want to feel that same level of connection. And I've actually found that, especially when it comes to just bonding with someone, even as friendship platonically, the best way to make that person bond to you is not by talking, it's actually just by asking them questions, getting them talking about themselves and opening up to you. And before you know it, they're going to feel like they know you so well, even if they've done all the talking, they're going to feel completely connected to you. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like on YouTube. And also don't forget to subscribe on YouTube and also leave a comment right there below with the word that is most important to you, the thing that you need to work on the most in your relationships. And maybe you haven't done it much in the past, but I want to hear from you right there below. And finally, don't forget to head on over to sexyconfidence.com where I have a ton of amazing resources that'll help you through every single stage of dating, relationships, and love. You can click that, uh, that button right there. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll speak to you, you sexy single lady, next week. Bye-bye.